Ouch. Plus, Stella's T-Mobile home internet slows down at peak times. Abby gets fast and reliable internet that's there when she needs it most. It's really fast. Advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced privacy and security. And an unlimited mobile line with nationwide 5G. All for $49.99 a month. Go to Spectrum.com slash save more to see how much you can save. Or call us and we'll do it for you. With Spectrum One, Abby is saving over $50 a month. That's over $600 in savings. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and a free unlimited mobile line. Visit Spectrum.com slash save more or call 833-718-4999 today. When you visit Theodore Robbins Ford in Costa Mesa, you'll see how well we treat our customers and how easy it is to buy a car. Now get 0% APR financing for 36 months on a new 2023 Ford Explorer. Or if you're looking for a compact SUV, don't wait. Choose from a huge selection of new Ford Bronco Sports, all in stock and ready for immediate delivery. For over 100 years and four generations later, that's just the way we do business. Dito Robbins Ford on Harbor Boulevard in Costa Mesa. I got hurt in a car accident. Why should I call the Law Brothers? Because when you're hurt, you need money. And we'll fight to get it for you. We got a client who injured their back in a car accident, $215,000. Another client of ours broke their leg and shoulder, and we got them $500,000. I'm convinced. Why wouldn't I call the Law Brothers? Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call 310-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Authorities in Orange County are asking for the public's help in tracking down a man suspected of attempted murder. They say the victim is the suspect's ex-girlfriend. I'm Eric Spillman. Former L.A. Mayor Dick Reardon has died at the age of 92. We'll take a look back at his life and his legacy. And I'm Annie Rose Ramos. California's lawmakers trying to crack down on the state's rampant robberies. Coming up, we're going to give you the details about this new law being proposed and whether store owners feel it's enough. Good morning. I'm Jessica Holmes. The House taking up a bill that would ban transgender women and girls from competing in female athletic sports in schools. We're going to have details on the vote that happened this morning. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. Brand new here at 10 o'clock, an Oscar-winning star from White Lotus issues an apology, plus your chance to meet some White Lotus stars in person. And speaking of stars, from uh, this is the, this is the big walk-on. <laughs> yes, from the Grease, uh, the pink lady thing. She plays Olivia. It is uh, Cheyenne Isabel Wells. Did I get it right? Yeah. Indeed, she's joining us live in just a couple minutes. All right, and clear skies and beautiful sunny weather in Southern California. Temperatures warm up all the way through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Some areas Saturday will be the warmest, and other areas uh, Friday will be the warmest. But it's just going to be beautiful regardless. 69 will be the high of the coastal areas. Downtown, 10 degrees warmer at 79, 84 in the San Fernando Valley. 75 high desert, Inland Empire, 82. Orange County, Inland, 83 degrees. Frank. Former Los Angeles Mayor Richard Reardon has died. We're told he was surrounded by family and his beloved dogs. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom with more. Eric, good morning. Years after he left office, Dick Reardon was asked what makes a great leader. He said the top three attributes are listening to others, having a sense of humor, and showing some courage. Courage, courage to make decisions, of course. Next is caring or giving, caring for everybody you meet from the janitor to the president of a corporation and learn from them. You can learn from everybody you ever meet. Reardon died at his Brentwood home last night with his family, friends, caregivers and his precious dogs by his side. Next month, he would have celebrated his 93rd birthday. He first entered politics at the age of 62. He'd made a fortune as an investment banker and businessman. He spent six million dollars of his own money on his campaign. His slogan was, tough enough to turn L.A. around. He took office in 1993 after Mayor Tom Bradley. Reardon was the first and only Republican mayor of L.A. since 1961. When he was sworn in, the city was still rebuilding from the Rodney King riots of 1992. Then in January of 1994, the Northridge earthquake hit. It was a magnitude 6.7 quake. It killed 57 people, injured thousands more, devastated many buildings and several freeways. 
Reardon immediately went to the command center. Under City Hall East, he started issuing orders and making phone calls. And in the months following the quake, he worked with local, state, and federal government to cut some of the red tape, coordinate aid, and help the city rebuild. In his second term, the LAPD Rampart corruption scandal started making headlines. LAPD officers were involved in shootings and beatings and planting evidence. Critics said Reardon wasn't moving fast enough on police reform. The U.S. Justice Department took some control over the LAPD in the form of a consent decree. Now, Reardon had an unusual way of leading. He often looked for solutions outside the city hall bureaucracy. He left office in 2001, forced out by term limits that he pushed voters to pass. I spoke via Zoom to former L.A. Area Chamber of Commerce Chair George Kiefer, who remembers a meeting with Mayor Reardon that was supposed to be about reforming the city's charter. When I walked into the office and he's got...